What is good? Diamond Night is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video. I know a lot of us are tired as hell, okay? We're tired as honk. We're tired as hell talking about the situation with Chris Sale's crazy ass baby mama. Miss Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked, okay? I don't know the rest of that shit. But anyway, guys. We're on this video to discuss Miss Peter Piper, okay, and her wild ass accusations, talking about Granny's a bitch, cussing out Nettie. Everybody who she's coming for is everybody who has taken care of Blake, made sure that Blake was good, and made sure, most importantly, because this is what it's about, that Blake got his ass home. Okay, Blake is currently home, yet she's still going live talking about Chris Sales, how he's nothing, how he's sold out how he's only doing shit for money. I don't know if she doesn't know the importance of like when you say something, especially on the internet, it stays forever. And then also when you say something that never goes away in people's minds, okay? So you have to really think before you speak, even when you're upset, even when you're angry, you really have to like woosah, evaluate what you're saying before you say it. Before we get too deep in this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload on my channel. Make sure you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should react to next and tell a friend to tell a friend today. Angel Mama today, Uncle Joey's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video. All right, so Granny Sales did hit me up. We discussed the whole situation and all of that. And she kind of gave me some background information on everything that happened. Also screenshot shots of her and Piper during the situation and everything that was unfolding, okay? So before everything transpired, Piper was hitting, you know, mama sales up, granny sales up, saying, hey, I need help. I'm gonna lose my job because I can't take care of Blake. I have to work, you know, I'm gonna have to quit my job. So granny and mama sales was like, hey, we'll help you with the baby. So I'm not gonna read all the screenshots. All right, I don't know if you guys remember, Piper did go on live to call Granny a depressed bitch, Mama Sales a depressed bitch, all right? Granny Sales did inform me Piper's mother had to go to the hospital. I'm not gonna disclose reason. Piper wanted to be there for her mom, to take care of her mom and stuff like that and everything that she was going through. Who was there helping out with Blake? Who was there to take care of Blake? Granny Sales, for you to call, first of all, a Granny a bitch is crazy and out of this world, okay? No respect for your fucking elders, which is wild. That's wild. I don't care how upset I am at anybody. Ain't no way in hell I'ma call anybody's granny for that matter a bitch. To me, it seems like Piper just feels like she can say anything and not deal with the ramifications. And Granny Sales told me, they said that Chris was wrong. He should have communicated. He should have handled that shit before he went off to Florida. This is what Granny Sales is telling me, okay? They're being real with Chris and letting him know, look, this is where you fucked up. This is where you can do better. But at the same time, you come on live acting crazy, cussing out his sister, who takes care of Blake, your child, okay? Cussing out Granny, cussing out Mama. And all of these people are making sure that your child is safe, okay? And all of these people made sure that Blake got to and from his destination. So to me, the situation is crazy as hell. As we can all see, she just continues to go live. And even at the point, I don't know if it was a Monday, it might've been a Monday, I'm not quite sure. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. It might've even been Sunday, all right? Now that I'm thinking about it, it might've even been Sunday where, you know, the drama kind of died down because she was like, okay, I'm gonna get Blake on Wednesday. They came to that agreement. She continued and proceeded to go live to talk shit about Chris, okay? Talk shit about the family and all of that. At this point, you're doing it for attention, all right? Or you're doing it because you really still love Chris, or you're doing it for both. Maybe it's D all of the above, okay? But why are you still on live if it's really just about Blake? Why are you still on live talking shit? Knowing that you're gonna get Blake back on Wednesday. Why are you doing the most? Why? All right, the whole situation with Chris's family saying, instead of meeting you at the airport, we're gonna meet you at the police station. 
Why? Because it's safer, okay? Somebody in the family is a cop, and this cop was not trying to get Piper in trouble, not trying to look up the background, not trying to convict or charge her of anything, okay? But was basically advising Chris's family that it might be a better option to meet up at the police station just in case, okay? There will be no drama, no extra shit, all right? And you know, that'll be the safest way, which I agree and it happens all the time. She made it such a big deal. Like it really made me feel like, damn Piper, like do you have something, do you have some bodies in the trunk? Like do you have some bodies, you know, under your apartment? Like what's going on? Who's setting you up? Nobody's setting you up. Nobody even said that they were filing anything against you. So that's wild. And it really makes me feel like, damn, Piper might have some other shit going on. But we all know she incriminated herself going on live saying that she, caught an attempted murder case or something like that. She runs people over, you know, she beats people up. She'll kill you, your mom, your dad, and your granny, okay? So guys, I just wanna say, you gotta take everything that she says with a grain of salt. I agree with what she said as far as him not communicating. At the very least, he could have made the arrangements for Blake to get home and communicate that with Piper, all right? And this whole situation could have been avoided. But at the end of the day, it seemed, Piper seems like the type of person that if it didn't happen now, it would have happened at some point down the line. This situation was totally blown out of proportion. I do agree with initially why she was upset. I get it. And the family gets it too. The way she just disrespected his whole family brought people who don't even need to be in the situation into this, like Queen, like Parker, like Leslie. You're bringing all these people into a situation that doesn't even involve them, you know? And you're cussing out grannies, calling them bitches. All right, people who make sure that your son is safe and sound. You're just going stupid and going dumb on these people, man. I really hope that all of these people find peace in the situation and we can move the fuck on. Hopefully we have seen the last of the series of Piper going live because at this point, 22 lives later, I'm just wondering like, when is it gonna stop? Leave the family out of it, leave everybody else out of it. If it's really about Blake, why are we going so hard on Chris? You got Blake back. You're mad because Chris exposed you for saying that you were gonna have an abortion and not having that abortion. There, there's, so, there's still so much to the story. Then you wanna pop up and tell Chris, hey, you do have a child, I didn't have an abortion. Like what? And then you wanna say that Chris is lying, that he's been knowing. How has Chris been knowing that Blake has been around when he was under the assumption that you had an abortion? Girl, what the fuck? Like, you don't, you sound crazy. And I know Granny Sales is watching this, you know? So I should watch my mouth. But, and I apologize in advance, but goddamn, like this lady is like really bonkers, you know? And I'ma say it again. I said it before and I'ma say it again, Chris, you need to be careful who you lay down with because it could be the devil. It could be the devil, all right? Chris doesn't really drink, he doesn't smoke. I mean, he does do that vape pen, but his only vice, I feel like, are women. That's his biggest vice is women, you know? You know, the internet loves to force relationships together, but I hope that Leslie can help him with piping that shit down. Because all of, you know, busting down these hoes and knocking up this girl and that girl, you just don't know these females, you don't know who you're sharing your energy with, you don't know who you're gonna possibly have to be tied to for the rest of your fucking life. You gotta be smarter, man, you really do. And he did speak on that on his recent video on the Sales Kids channel. So I'm pretty sure he is waking up to the fact that I gotta fucking chill out, man, I really do. So whole situation is just crazy and let's just hope that we have seen the last of Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick, because if not, I think I'm not gonna have no more hair. All this hair that y'all see, I'm gonna pull it out, okay? Because everybody's sick and tired of it. Sick and fucking tired of it. She's got Blake back. There's nothing more that you should be saying, bruh. Leave it alone. You say you're happy now that you got your son and all of this, but it seems like you're still unhappy and you're still wanting attention and you're still like, you just wanna take Chris down so bad, man. Get rid of that malice in your heart. Get rid of that evilness, that, that mean-spirited, whatever the fuck you have going on, man. Because I promise, this life is so much more enjoyable when you focus on yourself, focus on your kids, focus on your own happiness. You know what I'm saying? Go to Cheesecake Factory, get you a raspberry white truffle cheesecake or a motherfucking like wings from Wingstop, lemon pepper, you know, well done, all flat. Something like that, you know? Just be happy. I love you guys so much. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload on my channel. Make sure you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next and tell a friend to tell a friend that they ain't your mama, today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next.
motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.